is your house, is your house a center of Jesus' activity? Does Jesus operate? He, because the idea of this house was a base for the operation of the Messiah. Let Jesus run your home, your house. Hmm? The one that used to pay rent. Some of you pay mortgage. Yes. Is, is Jesus in that house? When he entered into the city, he went to this person's house and he turned this man's house into a base for his own operations. And I'm asking you the question now that the very house from which you drove into this meeting, who, who rules there? And I'm saying that when men are destitute, when men are looking for Jesus, can we point them to your house? Say, I know there is a place. If you go there, you will meet Jesus. Will people bump into Jesus when they come under your roof? On this day, in the city of Capernaum, if you needed the services, if I may use the word, if you needed the services, the ministry of Jesus, there was a particular physical house that you needed to access. Because the story in Mark chapter 2 was the story of the man that was paralyzed. The paralyzed man that was carried by four people. You remember that man? Yes, that's the story we're starting to read in Mark chapter 2. This man was paralyzed and he, he, he was, the KJV calls him invalid. This man cannot move. But because they heard that Jesus was in their city and in this house in their city, four people took that man, no matter how distant, however far the house was, that was where Jesus must be found. And I want to ask you the question, because many of you, you don't understand that. The, the, the kind of austerity that is coming upon our world and the aridity on account of everything that darkness is doing. Blessed is the house where the joyful sound is heard. Blessed is the house. Blessed is the house where Jesus still has a home. Blessed is the house where Jesus still has the right of way. Blessed is the house where Jesus is still the head. Back in those days, there used to be something that circulated around most houses, Christian houses, and it. Christ is the head of this home. The unseen guest at every meal, the silent listener to every conversation. All right, that thing used to be popular when I was in primary school. So it, people used to put it in their houses. Christ is the head of this home. The unseen guest at every meal. The silent listener to every conversation. My, my emphasis is Christ is the head of this home. It was noised that he was in the house. He was in the house. It was in the house. And spiritually speaking, this is a very significant matter. That our houses must be places of kingdom activity. That our houses, the house, I'm talking of your, your house, the space, so long as you hold some kind of title to that space, whether it is a rent or it is a mortgage, whatever it is, so long as you are the one occupying it at this moment, it has to be HQ for heaven. It has to be HQ. That, that if, if people are looking for God, they need to travel no further than your house. Let that our houses will become the last bus stop for men in search of the Savior. 